Hey, Andres, how are you? Happy New Year. Hello, Greg. Thank you. You too. I'm calling to let you know today that FIFA officially accepted the request. So you're now part of the Brotherhood. Congratulations. Okay, thank you. I'm really happy. It's a very good news today. <laughs> With Andreas, we think that he's a perfect player for our system, really good kid. For us, it was a big step to get him to be part of our program. When you think about the players that we're attracting, they just want to come play with the group that we have. Guys like Christian Pulisic and Weston McKinney and Tyler Adams, people want to get on board on that. They see the talent, they see the potential, and they want to be part of it. It's just uh, amazing to be back with the team. It's such an exciting year with Nations League, Gold Cup, and then obviously World Cup qualifiers. Those are the games that, that you love to play in. It's been a good, productive two years of getting to know the player pool and, and seeing where we're at with the talent that we have. The thing about the national team is you always need to prove yourself. You always need to keep performing at high levels. Our goal is to continue to move these players forward, We're getting them mentally ready for the year, physically ready for the year, and tactically ready. All right, we always like to start the camp, you know, framing what we're trying to do here. And it always starts with this, right? What are we here for? What's our vision? It's changed the way the world views American soccer. We talked about making strides. We talked about the progress we made. 2021, guys, is a year to validate all that. Help the U23s prepare for Olympic qualifying. You know, we've rarely had a camp with two teams integrated with each other. There's a big responsibility of this group here to set the tone, set the standards, show them the way, and it's about each and every moment that we have in a game and every day. Every single day you have the opportunity to improve, to make the difference. Every single play you have that same opportunity, and it's seizing those moments. Let's have a good camp, boys, huh? Here we go. We don't have to smile, do we? Yeah. Oh, you can tell though. <laughs> The U23s, the whole thing is about preparing them for qualifying. I think a really important thing of this camp is this vertical integration, working with two teams, different age groups, and having the staffs work together, the players work together, really showing that it's one big national team program. A big goal of this camp for, for us as senior players is helping the Olympic team get ready as well. When I was coming up as a younger player, having veteran guys in camp and, and being able to learn from them was super important. So we're hopeful we can kind of do the same for the younger group that's here. I think it's a really interesting situation, it feels like, with with this qualification process. It's our first camp that we've had uh, an opportunity to have together since March, since our last camp was cut a little bit short. We've had a couple days of training. The guys look really good, and so far, we've been really pleased with what we've gotten. So, super excited about all of the opportunities and challenges that lay ahead. We obviously need to win enough games to get qualified for Tokyo. It's a huge opportunity for a lot of guys, such as myself, to you know establish ourselves in the, in the full men's team. The big thing that we talk about is building a brotherhood. We know going into a, an important year, every opportunity that you have just to be around the guys is awesome. <laughs> We're back with the training tournament, right? In most training sessions, we'll have points awarded. We'll be keeping standings every day. You'll be able to check that. It'll be a nice prize for the winner. We have five teams. Three are going to be playing the big eight game. 
two are going to be playing the other possession. We're keeping score the whole round. We played five rounds. You get three points for that. Then we go into functional buildup for midfield. Then we go to the game form. You get five points for that. Plus, there's two mystery points in the training that we're going to award after training. What are you laughing about, Walker? What's funny about that? <laughs> mystery points. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so let's get after it today, boys. Here we go. With me, guys. Oh, sounds like three points. Five, six, seven. Oh, Eight. Nine. Walk up here, go. Ten. Yeah. Turn. Eleven. Count twelve. Get in. Good work today. Good work, right? Great effort. We made progress. Um, the mystery points was how many times your team won the ball after repressing in 36 yards or under. Oh, who do you think won? Yellow. 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 I won one. I won one for sure. And then one hit. I was rolling. I got a smart one. I just called him out. Yellow, how many did you have? We just ended. We just ended with Jesus on a counter. Jesus won one over there against the. Light blue. How many did you have? My man, my name is Light blue. I got a fat one. I got a fat one. Someone for the witness stand right now. Come, come here, Josie. Josie come no, 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 Josie, come here, Josie. Come here, Josie. Come here, Josie. Come here, Josie.